This week's comment of the week goes to Dominic James Minecraft. Great job. Love it. Keep working at your content and making videos. First off, I'd like to say I've seen a lot of you guys making comments on every single one of my videos, and I gotta freaking thank you guys for every little bit of the work that you guys put in. Secondly, I just want to say we're trying to get to 100 subscribers by December. Make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe on these videos so you can make sure that you get up-to-date stuff on my brand new content, and most importantly, so that we can reach the goal so we can do live streams on Saturdays and user suggestions. With that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys later. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. My name is The Plaghead, and welcome back to Plague Talks. Last time we left off, we did a quite a bit of mining, and we set our sights on the new plans for our survival series, layering out the concepts that we were going to be potentially doing on the mountainscape, but most importantly, we realized what we were going to be doing in the middle ground. So, let's not flap about and let's get started. With all the iron that we have recently obtained, we're now able to do anything that we really need, including creating a large-scale farm. Of course, any large-scale farm needs a lot of wood, stone, and hose. So, the question now is not, uh... So, the question now is not what I need for this, it's what I want from this. First off... Sorry, I, I am, I'm way too excited right now. Uh, ever since my Doom Eternal stuff started doing, like, really well, I've been, like... Ooh, that one hurt. I've been really wanting to record a lot more and more, and also, I am freezing cold. I might want to go get, like, a jacket to warm me up and cool, and, like, calm me down. There is a little peg that we plugged into the, uh, into the mountainscape, but as you guys can see, we're not exactly doing too well on the food resources. I did a little bit of logging off camera. Not exactly mining, but logging. And we recently got... Oh, shit. I did not bring all my logs down. <laughs> I'll be right back. Unfortunately, we don't exactly have as many seeds as we would really need in order to start working. Oh, shit. Fuck. Yes, I need all the supplies I can get. I need all the supplies I can require acquire. That is also including, but not limited to... A large, large quantity of seeds. We need we need a lot of seeds in order to really begin working on this farm. Because I'm a starving little boy from Nigeria, and I really need some food. It's really unfortunate that the up top farm is just not big enough, and it's not efficient enough. Like, sure, we've got all this extra little bits and pieces right here, like sugarcane, that are working. We do have trees that work. But the problem is that we just do not have enough supplies to last us for too long. Alright, and we're back. So, as you guys can see, we do not have very many supplies to build with. But we certainly have enough. There is one thing that I forgot, which is, uh, let's see here. I do need iron for a bucket. Basically, the whole plan is we're going to have a water source coming down from one of these, uh, one of these cliff edges, which will pool out somewhere to form a little lake. We're going to build our little house right next to the lake. And from there, we're just kind of going to wing it, you know? We're going to start building a downward incline so that we're going to start building an upward incline eventually that will home all of the resources we build starting from right here, which will be where the water comes, where the water will go. And it will go all the way up to the top following a path set by me, which it, it really won't be a path. It'll just be like, you know, water, still water as usual in order to farm the crops. But I am absolutely sure without a doubt in my mind that this is going to be what we're going to do. So I'm going to go get the bucket. I'm going to go get like some iron for a bucket and I will see you guys in a quick second. Okay. And we're back for real. Okay. So we got the iron. First things first is that we're going to build a bucket. This bucket will begin, well, f well, first, before we do anything else, we're going to actually start planting some more seedlings. Alright, so now we officially have a small farm. And this small farm cannot provide for us just yet. We need a full-fledged water-based source in order to start fueling the grass and the soil for our survival. And uh, we do have five bones here because we are 
killers of skeletons. Now that we have the five bones, we start planting. And we, there, ah, okay, there we go. We got it, we got it, we got it, okay. Okay, there we go. And now we have 12 seeds. 12 seeds create more food sources. And one piece of bread makes a slightly happy man. I can now eat, unlike those suffering from communism in Russia. <laughs> oh, that's going to hurt me in the long run, isn't it? Okay. We got enough food. Okay, we have food. Or we had food. I just ate it all. So now I'm going to look for a decent spot for our water source. And then we will get to the time lapse. Which I am super excited for. I think that's actually one of the main things that I'm like really excited for in this playthrough. Is the... Uh, that. Alright, so I think over here is going to be a really good spot for it, at least for the beginning. So once again, recap of what we're going to be doing. We're going to be building a lake right around there that the house will be connected to, and that lake will spread out across the farmland, and that farmland will be producing all the crops that we need, including all that, all the stuff. And as well as the farmland, we will also be housing animals for us to continue breeding and th so we can thrive we have a lot of sheep up here but the sheep aren't gonna last us forever more importantly more importantly we need the wool as badly as possible as well so right here is a wonderful spot we shall dig that out of there and it is a work in progress ah oh, shit it's already going wrong it's already going wrong Alright, well, we're going to need some dirt in order to uh, patch up the little issue we're having here. But we will get I will get back to you guys real quickly. Also, for those of you who want to start out YouTube, breathing exercises where you breathe to the side are probably going to be most beneficial for you because, you know, when you breathe, you're like... <sighs> so, learning to breathe from the side, especially when you need to take a really big exhale or inhale... And there we go. We see that this is actually working a lot more smoothly. We're seeing that this is working a lot better. And now with the water starting to act more our way, we're going to go up and we're going to start filling up the hole one more time. Oh, well that doesn't work. We have to let the water actually like drain out before we can do anything. Drain, 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 There we go. All right, I think that's good enough. We're going to let the water flow again. And there we have it. That is the best we can really do. And until we fill up the water source completely, it's not going to it's not going to stop raging. And there we go. We have completely fixed the water source. The water source is now fixed. We didn't start the water source. Well, okay, it's not exactly a water source yet. We need to gather up a little bit more water in order to fix the dilemma of it seeping out everywhere like this. All right, now it is a water source. So, for those of you watching, yes, I am going to be doing a time lapse here. Sorry about that. I am going to be doing a time lapse here. And here is where it's going to cut so I can start working on the lake and the house. And from there, I will see you guys in a bit. All right, guys. So while this is going on, I want to talk about my schedule real quick while the music's playing in the background. First things first. My schedule is going to be kind of packed. I've got a lot of stuff going on this week. However, I will continue to upload content for you guys. Mostly on Wednesday and Thursday and Friday. Because I will be uploading the Blood Swamps part of the... Oh my goodness, excuse me. Doom Eternal DLC during that time. Mostly because of the fact that I have to split it up into two parts. Which really sucks. Mostly because of the fact that, you know, it's such a long DLC. And the missions are so incredibly hard but I promise you my commentary has far exceeded what it once was at the very beginning and it's gonna be a lot more enjoyable for you guys on Friday is going to be a continuation of the Minecraft time-lapse series 
I really hope that I'm actually going to be able to upload Plague Talks on Sunday next week because I'm going to be super excited and more importantly that's when I'm going to be able to say uh, happy November. The finals are coming around soon in about like a month or so and I'm actually starting to get really worried about it but don't worry guys. I will be continuing to upload content all the way up until finals week when I will eventually stop in order to focus on my schoolwork. Because, you know, as much as I do love doing YouTube, I think uh, Minecraft and Doom Eternal are not going to get me so very far in life, at least for now. Anyway, with that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoy the time lapse, and I will see you guys at the end of it. And welcome back, gamers! Welcome back! Uh, while it's not exactly the full, complete version, I'm currently working on a very big, uh, a very small schedule. So I can't exactly just build a huge, gigantic, tall, uh, towering structure. The good thing is, is that we finally have some form of protection for ourselves down in the bottom layer of the... Oh shit, it's actually starting to turn nighttime. We finally have ourselves a form of protection at the bottom of the, ca uh, the canyon. And most importantly, we have ourselves a form of shelter that we can use to survive the night while we stay down here either growing crops or doing anything. Now, unfortunately, we are very, very, very hu hungry. We could eat an entire mountain right now which thankfully there's a lot of mountains near us that we can eat but that's not what we want to eat where we ain't hungry for hungry we don't hunger for mountain tops we hunger for food real food and quite frankly I think that means I'm gonna have to kill some sheep which uh, got quite un quite unfortunate so let's get some charcoal cooking because I need to get some form of food in me otherwise I'm going to starve to death and I, uh, let's make some shears so that we can actually formulate a bed on the bottom side. That way we don't have to keep running back up and down, up and down. Yes, I do have pink sheep. No, I didn't spawn them. That was actually the very beginning of the game. Oh, right, I forgot. Uh, that creates that. So first off, let's shear the sheep. He gave us just the amount that we needed. Excellent. And, oh, fuck, no. No, no! Ah! <laughs> yeah, give me your food. Give me your food. Food, food, food. Yes, food. Let's get back into the small little house that we have started to create for ourselves, and we will get started eating some delicious, delicious mutton. Now, oh, excellent. We got some extra seeds, which we can use to plant later on. Now, this is only a work in progress. I do plan on adding more once we get diamond. And next episode, we will be going down deeper into the mines in order to uncover the rocky goodness that is the material itself. So first things first, let's start working on making a bedding so that we don't have to, you know, fight through the night with only three hunger bars because we are very, very starving. We are suffering from severe malnutrition, which is uh, very, very bad. We do not want to be surviving through malnutrition, especially once that hunger bar starts going down even more because if that hunger bar keeps going down, we are basically fricked got some extra arrows we don't need yet so in the time last I went over some of the important things such as what's going on and I basically did the plague talk with you guys I'm so happy that a lot of people are actually starting to comment on my videos more importantly I'm super glad that people are actually really starting to watch my uh, doom eternal content I know I was a little late to the party but it seems like everyone's really starting to enjoy it which is fantastic and I very much intend on keeping up with that. Because, you know, uh, good content. 
excellent. People watching my content just makes me go, yes. Ah, finally. Oh, come on. It wasn't even enough to satisfy you, Plague. Really? You fat little slob. Okay, fine. We'll start, like, getting ready to cook more. So we got this large-scale farm all set up and ready. We're so... We're actually really starting to get readied up. Our hunger bar is starting to get filled. And the sun is beginning to rise on a brand new day. So, what's that mean for the channel? Well, for one, that means we're going to keep working on uh, preparing for the next season. For the next season, we're going to be preparing for some more farming. I actually do not know what we're going to do in the next episode, but it will probably be gathering up materials and resources for the next build, which I'll have to go over in the previous episode and figure out exactly what that was. However, one thing we are absolutely going to need is more wood. We I've already used up uh, quite a few stacks of wood logs. Yes, wood logs. Don't get off my back. Which is not good. And we're also going to need to be going through the cave systems in order to gather up some more seeds. And more importantly, bones. Because we need bones in order to start growing everything that we need to a large, large quantity fuck was that? I heard something in my room. I don't know what it was. But for now, we don't exactly have all the materials we need in order to continue surviving. So we're going to continue to build up our resource supplies and increasing our net value of gains and materials until we can actually start getting everything that we're going to need. I am super excited for the next episode. But just for now, we're going to keep playing through to see what else we can do and what else we can get before we call it a day. So first things first, I'm really excited that you guys are actually watching this content. And uh, let me know if you guys like the more bombastic, kind of like energetic and hyperactive version of me. Or if you guys like the much calmer. I know a lot of y'all who watch my content were commenting a lot on how much you enjoyed the much calmer 8 minute recording that I did of the time lapse which I am absolutely super stoked about because I did a lot of uh, editing work on that in order to make it look really good and more importantly it was my first time doing it so there was a lot of instances where you could see the camera like kind of move a bit and you could tell oh that's how he's doing it he's just using like a second ca uh, camera and I, I that's the thing I don't want I want everything to seem and feel natural, especially the editing and the recording. If something doesn't feel natural, then that's kind of problematic. Because if stuff doesn't feel natural, then it's going to feel kind of weird or buggy or clippy. Rushed, if you will. Which, granted, that last video was. I actually completed that one in a full day. And I was sitting there. I was sitting on it like, a, I don't know, something. I was like, oh, I'm so excited to upload this video, but I don't know if I should. When in reality, I really should have just uploaded that video instead of uploading like a little teaser trailer that was just me being a freaking klutz. <gasps> Pumpkins, yes! We got ourselves some pumpkins, baby! Let's get down there and grab them. We got enough food in order to build back up our hunger, which is freaking fantastic. Now, when I was doing a lot of the logging, I did come across the whole hunger and starvation problem. Mostly because of the fact that A, I don't have any food, and B, I was using mostly apples and whatever I can scrounge up as food. You know, uh, at the very beginning of the game, you start off with just a little bit of wheat, and then you keep going until you got like a lot of your, you got yourself a lot of food, and then you just keep on going and see how far you can get until you eventually have a large scale farm and right now we are currently on the mid section of con building a large scale farm but due to the t current time constraint I'm not exactly building the best one or the one that I had in mind because of a a lack of materials and b a lack of time when I get the time to do it and when I actually uh, have a sense of like I I need to do this during the weekend I absolutely will do it because I don't I don't schedule anything to the weekend. 
Doing anything through the weekend is a bad idea because it doesn't give you enough time to like relax and hang out by yourself. Which I admittedly usually spend either hanging out with friends, family, or playing video games like this one. Oh, and by the way, Cyberpunk is currently coming out and I'm super excited to play it. I'm like the more I look at it and the more I realize that it's actually been optimized for uh, users like me, the more stoked I am. And I'm, I am like legitimately considering doing a playthrough of it. Now, usually my playthrough style is like I'll record a good chunk of it and then I won't play it until I need to record it for it again. Especially with the fact that my computer cannot exactly handle having tons and tons and tons of footage on it anymore. Since, I, you know, I'm currently running in 1020p. So, quality of videos isn't certainly my m biggest importance, but like saving up room for them should be but you know quality is currently the, my most important priority because I want to record the best content for you guys if I can't record the best quan content if I can't record the best content for you guys then you guys are just gonna kinda walk away and currently I think the biggest problem is my thumbnails so thumbnails are absolutely going to be getting an upgrade and an overhaul in due time. I just don't know how to do such a thing because of the problem that, well, I don't know how to do thumbnails. Like I don't know how to really get the viewer's attention and hook them in with a like really sexy image. I don't, I don't know how to do that. I might just... Like, you know, I'm certainly improving, and my videos are certainly getting to a new height. I only grabbed one pumpkin. Oh, yeah, right, because I was starting to get really hungry. But I really do think that thumbnails are the way of my channel. And without thumbnails, my channel is just going to keep on staying beneath the mud like it is. Of course, you know, the friends of mine who actually watch my channel and start really taking admiration to what I work on they're the main like reason why this channel is still alive and they're the main reason why this channel is still picking up people who have no idea about my channel because they find my channel because of the YouTube recommendations and the YouTube suggestions which is what I want I really want people to find my channel through YouTube recommendations and YouTube suggestions and the part ones of my videos are currently some of the most popular which while good is not exactly what I need I need a lot of people finding my channel and not just from part one, but continuously watching part twos and part threes, which I do genuinely believe that the 1080p and the higher quality is certainly going to be a major factor in because, you know, the better the quality, the more people are going to actually be able to watch. So I'm super ecstatic about my quality getting all the way back up to what it needs to be. Now, uh, as for the content of this series, I do intend on uploading continuously weekly and more on throughout the days because you know I, I want to upload this content for you guys and if I'm not uploading the content for you guys then what the heck am I doing and if I'm just uploading the content for my friends and I would have just made these videos listed or unlisted but the th major factor is is that a lot of people find my co content really enjoyable thankfully uh, especially that or especially the low quality first episode of Doom, which I'm not exactly going to patch that first episode because that first episode, it's just the first episode and it did very successfully. Seeing as, you know, people really, really flock to it. Which is fantastic because if people flocked to my own videos like that, especially with the fact that it got super popular super quickly, then that means I'm going to win something right, at the very least. And I plan for the next episode of the Doom Eternal thing to actually be a full-fledged hour. Or more. Because I've got quite a bit of content, and I literally lost myself into a barbaric rage while recording. One thing I really think that is very vital for me, especially as a content creator, is going to have to be uh, my content. Or my... Not my highlights, but my uh, commentary. There we go. Okay, I started doing the thing again. And you guys can really see it lately. Uh, my content's starting to improve. I'm doing less of the uh, that. I'm doing a lot less of the awkward pauses, a lot less of the momentary like moment. 
a lot less of the moments where I'm just like, I don't really know what to say. I'm just going to smile and realize I don't have a camera. Or the awkward positives that are just like, okay, this guy's really awkward and socially... Like, he doesn't know what he's saying, so I'm just going to leave his channel. I'm going to find somebody who's a lot more confident. And especially, I think the main credit for that confidence is going to that Doom Eternal video because so many people watched it and so many people like genuinely liked it and they watched a majority of it. Of course, you know, you have people like the Rad Brad who are uploading a lot more and they're a lot farther in the game than I am, which is kind of fatal for me because, you know, I gotta get that content uploaded. But for now, I think as my channel is growing, I don't really need to worry too much about, like, the trendsetter. I don't have to be the trendsetter. I just gotta be the trend follower, you dig? I don't gotta keep up with the trends fast enough, or I don't have to be ahead of the trend so that people watch my content more. I just gotta be the guy who uploads content on a semi-regularly basis and not stray too far from the mission statement. Because, you know, every content creator's got to have that own mission statement. And while my mission statement originally was record to have fun and to help build, or er, record to have fun and have something to do and occupy yourself while you're just kind of not doing anything, my content has started to grow a bit more serious and it's gained a new meaning to it. My content's no longer just record to have fun and to occupy yourself with something to do, including editing and all that. It's no longer become record and edit to learn a new skill. It's become record to build self-confidence. Because, you know, especially for some of you guys who are starting off and doing your own kind of channel, it's certainly a confidence booster to see that your channel is currently rising up really fast and to see the amount of people coming to your channel and like finding your content fascinating. I know someone who's been commenting on every single one of my videos who's doing a Wizard 101 playthrough. A Wizard 101 playthrough, can you believe that? And the thing is, like people are actually starting to watch it, which is fascinating. I, I did not know that there was an actual market for Wizard 101, but I might have to I might have to invest in that uh I might have to invest in that. You you know what I mean? <laughs> but I genuinely think that my own method is going to work for me. I think the style that I'm going for and the videos that I intend to record for this channel are gonna be my successful business. While not exactly going to be a job, and especially at this rate, now that like all the subscribers have started to slow down and people have stopped like flocking to my channel and finding it such a rapid pace as they once, oh my, oh my God, excuse me, as they once did, I'm probably going to have to continue uploading on a semi-regularly basis so that people continue to find my content. But I have found a new schedule of things to upload, including Doom Eternal, Minecraft Time Lapses, and Minecraft Survival. Along with Among Us sometimes, but I really am not feeling Among Us anymore. Like, you know, I like Among Us, don't get me wrong, but it's just the people that I play with aren't exactly the best kind of people to be around. Especially when you're in a game about lies and deceit. If you catch my drift. But don't go giving everyone hate, you know, everyone's just trying to have some fun, and there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone's just trying to enjoy themselves. It's just that sometimes our method of enjoyment is somewhat different from others. While others like to ruin it for everyone else, some people don't realize they're ruining it for everyone else, but they're just having fun with it. Everyone else is just trying to have a very relaxed and chilled out time. Meanwhile, uh... I will probably be still uploading that kind of content, but for now I also really want to upload Minecraft time lapses because those can do really well and if I continue to make it an episodic series where I continue to build my humongous structure then, well, I'll just be set for life. And the reason why I'm not doing a time lapse right now is because I genuinely want to talk to you guys one on one from the heart and this is probably the best way for me to do it to speak to you guys one-on-one -on -one. and this is genuinely from the heart 
That's that's what Plague Talks is for, you know? Uh, sure, in the time lapse, I kind of went over the schedule for next week, but this part is me just genuinely talking to you guys. And just like I had recently mentioned in the highlighted comments, we're trying to get to 100 subscribers. So if you find my channel and you genuinely like the content that I'm putting out, and you like this bombastic, excited uh, figure that I am putting on, please, I implore you to consider subscribing to my channel. It will absolutely make me feel a lot better about myself, which, you know, I'm not exactly trying to push that onto you, because, you know, if you don't like the channel, you don't have to subscribe and all that. And I'm never going to be doing clickbait. I know I said, like, I'm not going to be doing blank, or I won't do blank, but, and then I start doing it, but I promise clickbait is one of the things that I will refuse religiously to do. And of course, you know, right now I'm currently just upgrading the house because I don't exactly like the very bland, brownish look to it right now. Hang on. <sighs> Excuse me. But anyway, this channel will continue to grow and I'm super excited about that. That's probably one of the biggest things that I'm really happy about is that my channel will continue to grow nonstop. This has been another build session, and look at the beginning parts of this house. It's not exactly the best house. It's certainly not the best thing you could ever think of. In fact, I could probably do better. In fact, I'm actually going to try and make something better out of it real quick. If I can get the right amount of logs. There we go. Okay, I think that's a little bit better. I don't, I honestly don't know. I have no idea. But all I know is that we have the same amount of wall and we have the right amount of... Huh! Yeah! Alright, actually that does look a little bit better. It's not exactly the perfect build, but it's certainly a lot better than the build up there. Because, you know, it actually has like a second story to it and also just a quite a bit more. Hold up, I might actually build out this just a little bit more. There we go. That's looking stylish and fresh. Well, somewhat. Not exactly. Not fully. But anyway, it's not exactly fully done because of the time constraint that I currently have. However, in the next episode, we will be going over just a little bit more of the build. I'll gather up some more material in the meantime in order to prepare for the next part of the build. And in later parts of the series, we'll be working further on mining and gathering up resources, mostly cobblestone, which I will do in a very, very, very fast time lapse for you guys, so you don't have to sit through me mining out tons and tons and tons and tons of stone. I'm super excited about this series. I know this episode wasn't all that much, uh, like, progress-wise. In fact, actually, I'm going to do a little bit more because of the fact that I want this to be cleaned up. But in the next episode, we'll be gathering up materials from the underground, mostly dirt and stone. As I will be doing a lot of the logging off camera because, you know, logging is kind of boring. And we won't exactly have any th the next part of the build to do. We don't exactly even have the first part of the build finished. But in later episodes, we'll be rising up the pond a little bit higher. In fact, we'll probably move the pond up to this level. Because simply because of the fact that uh, the pond needs to actually have some elevation to it, so the whole concept of a rolling, a uh, sorry, my, I'm drawing a blank right now, <laughs> a rolling riverside that is being used as a farmland, kind of like what you see in those uh, Japanese or Chinese or like okay, you know what, fuck it, Asian movies, those Asian movies, those yellow man movies. <laughs> God, that was fucking wrong, but I don't care. That's kind of the concept I'm going for, the, at least the uh, the farmland, and I plan on using cobblestone as a base for some of the platforms, which I am absolutely going to start building. I think that's going to be one of the next things that I'm going to be building, is some of the cobblestone platforms that'll define the base's appearance. I only got like two hours to edit this before it has to be uploaded at 6 p.m., which is kind of like the deadline for my uploads. That's another thing is that I'm honestly struggling to 
meet up with that kind of deadline of 6 p.m. And I want to continue using that kind of like time frame of like, oh, I have to upload by this time every uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And I know that yesterday, I re or last week, I uploaded like four videos and two on like off the days. But I promise you guys, uh, uploads are going to be a bit more consistent. I do want to kind of upload all of the Doom Eternal stuff on a daily basis. Yeah, if you know what I mean, like, I'd rather upload that all in a consistent time frame than kind of, like, putting it all in, like, uh, every other day. I want to upload it daily so that the levels are combined and mixed together. Unfortunately, I didn't finish off the Blood Swamp level, and I really hope to finish it off. And either, no, not tomorrow, because I'm really busy tomorrow, but guys, on Wednesday and Thursday, you guys are going to be seeing the Blood Swamp level finished up and started, of course. And... Uh, on Friday, you guys will be getting a brand new Minecraft time lapse. With that out of the way, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Sorry it's so short and there's not a lot of progress. But my name is the Plaguehead, and I will see you guys later. Bye bye.